Hello guys, welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to see how we can implement user interaction in the automation workflow using UiPath. Sometimes you require user input in order to complete automation. For example, you want the user to provide an OTP he has received on his cell phone to log in into a system. In this video, we are going to use text box, drop down list and radio button to accept user input. So without any delay, let's get started. I'm opening my main workflow. I'll add an activity as input dialog. And in input dialog, I have to pass a title, say browse website and input label I'm going to pass a text which will appear as a message to my user please enter complete URL of the website you want to visit I'll leave input type as text box only and in value entered is something where I'm going to accept user input and for that I'm creating a variable and for creating variable I'm just pressing control K and uh, I'm just naming my variable as web URL now after that I'm going to add another activity just open browser and over here I'm just going to pass the variable in which I have accepted user input and over here I'm just going to select a browser type otherwise it will open it in the default browser which is Internet Explorer and I'm going to run So here is a dialog box, here is a message and uh, now user can interact with your automation. I'm just going to write the complete URL of the website which I want to visit. I'm just writing HTTPS www.akarsoft.com and I'll click OK. So here, now we will see how we can give predefined multiple choices to user and for that I'm just changing this input type as multiple choice and over here I just have to enter uh, options separated by semicolons. So I'm just writing Google and over here I'm just writing Yahoo and uh, over here I'm just adding an activity if now I want to enter a expression which I wanted to check so I'm just writing web URL which is a variable in which I want to accept user input. I'm just checking if it's Google and uh, then after that I'm just writing this bigger thing inside the then segment. Now, in place of this variable, I'm just going to write the complete URL CTPS www.google.com. And I'm also creating else part of this F, and I'm adding another open browser. 
activity. And this I'm passing HTTP S www yahoo.com. So I hope you are able to understand. We here uh, we are accepting user input. If it matches with Google, then it's going to open Google. And if it doesn't, then it's going to open yahoo.com. Okay. So I'm just running my program. So here you can see, and I'm asking, I can select Yahoo or Google. So in this case, I'm selecting Yahoo. I'll click OK. Okay, as you can see now, it's opening things on my default browser as I have not selected the browser name. Now I'm just closing this. Now coming to drop down list, and now there is a catch uh, in UI path. If you I want to provide more than three options then it will automatically get converted into multiple choice so i'm just going to show you over here i'm just writing reddit and uh, then facebook i just convert this thing into i mean i'm just making my browser type as chrome and uh, after that i'm just going to run So as you can see now I have a drop down list and select Google, click OK and you can see I hope you understood the concept of a user input in case if you have any queries please comment below. Thank you.